was nice, the party was bumping. Hey, yeah. And everybody having a ball. Hey, hey. Until the fellas start the name calling. Hey, and the girls respond to the call. Hey, I have hey, a pool hey, with hey, hey. Who let the dogs out? Uh, who let the dogs out? Who let the kitties out? Well, we're going to talk about that in just a second. Good morning, Cookville. 720 on the nose. Glad you could join us here live from the Andrea Burkhart New York Life Studios. Uh, it is 44 degrees outside. Warming up to get this. The perfect weather to take your animals out for a walk. 74 degrees today. 53 for the low tomorrow. We've got rain late on Tuesday and then going into Wednesday morning, 68 and 67, the high respectively. And then Tuesday, uh, Thursday and Friday, 72 and 74 degrees. Unbelievable weather happening around the Upper Cumberland. All right. Good morning, everybody. Sean Jacobs, the most trusted newsman in the Upper Cumberland. You just heard him talk about his passion for Cindy Crawford. Of course, it, it, a few things can bring Sean in here. Breaking news and Cindy Crawford. So, and I can't blame him. I was, a, I was a child who loved Cindy Crawford as well. Still remember that Pepsi commercial. So, uh, thank you, Sean, for that. But the most trusted newsman in the Upper Cumberland breaking all the latest news that's happening here in Cookville, Sparta, Livingston, Monterey, you name it, Gatlinburg, Sparta. We talk about it right here on W. H-U-B. And joining me for the first time here in the studio, Brittany Robbins, who it's your first time on radio, except not not you're not on a except for being on a commercial. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing wonderful. It's very funny because I got a text a little while ago from Melanie Chadwell, who is, is doing the home show. And I just got a number. So I didn't have your number written down in contacts. So she texts me and I go, oh, is this ARF? And I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I, she knew who you were, which was wonderful. Oh, we, well. we just talked to her outside, <laughs> yeah. remember? She, cause she, I, and I thought, wait, oh, it's Melanie. Ah! <laughs> so I, so I was wondering, it's like when you text somebody the word ARF, but she knew who your organization was, and that's good. Yes. But we want to share your organization right here on Good Morning Cookville. So, uh, Brittany Robbins is joining us. What's your official title with ARF? I'm just a volunteer. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Volunteering yeah. is a good thing. We are thing. volunteer driven. So That is wonderful. For sure, yeah. So I'm on Brittany's page. I'm looking at ARF, which is all about rescue and fixin' incorporated. I like fixin'. Yes. Not fixing, fixin'. We like fixin' too. Very <laughs> and we much do. so. We do. You know, I just did a story earlier today. Uh, I do what's called Sunny Side Up at about seven, excuse me, about 7.10 in the morning. And today's story was San Francisco is you can't buy the puppy mills and stuff like that. They're banning that from being sold in shops. You can only right. buy rescue dogs or from local breeders. They're making mm-hmm. some very heavy rules on that. And I've always been a good friend of the animal shelter and anything with animals around here, uh, Linda Weston and that whole group. But I have to tell you right now, anybody who works with, helps out, works with animals is absolutely wonderful. How did you get involved with ARF? Well, I actually started You started ARF. Well, no, no, oh. no. <laughs> you got, oh, like, okay, I started I volunteering oh. um, at the Cookville Putnam County Animal Shelter uh-huh. and was there for like a year. Right. And then decided to uh, help ARF. ARF. <laughs> yes, as a foster. Oh, so okay. So that we're we're volunteer driven and foster driven. So unlike right. the shelter, we don't have a facility. Gotcha. Right. So um rescues basically mm-hmm. take in animals from the shelter or okay. um situations that are poor, owner surrenders, that kind of thing. Right. And house them in our homes. See, and that's very it's a very tough thing, but a wonderful thing to be a foster. Is it's gotta be tough because so many fosters all of a sudden become adoptees and right. so there's a lot of there's a lot of times because i heard somebody talking about that once how wonderful is the foster that's a tough job because you're giving love and and commitment to an animal and that but your job is to try to find that dog or cat a home isn't it yes for sure and the thing to keep in mind is the goal of saving lives absolutely so if you can foster and pass that dog or cat along to a forever home right you can take in another dog or cat and that's so wonderful you're transition multiple lives yes yes and that's sure. the big thing making the transition mm-hmm. because a lot of these where do you get these animals from well a lot of times people will at our website you can actually 
surrender. Okay. If you're in a situation where you're moving or mm. you're just not able to take care of your pet, you can surrender it to us, um, and we will take it in, as long as it's not aggressive, that kind of thing. Right. And we also pull from the shelters. Mm-hmm. So that's one of our main focuses for 2017 is to, to pull more um, pets from the shelters because right. that opens up an intake spot for new animals. Oh, that's, that's... So the shelters are not so overcrowded. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. That really is because that's a problem everywhere, yes. especially with the cats and kittens, the times. So if somebody wanted to become a member of ARF, I'm sorry, I absolutely love the acronym. That's probably one of the <laughs> best. Arf! I, I will do that all day long. But if somebody wants to become a member or a part of ARF, how do they get a hold of you? Well, uh, the website is probably the best way, okay. which is www.aarf-tn.com. And then also on Facebook. We're big on Facebook. So that's a that's at A A R F T N. So you can www.aartn.com. I uh-huh. went to the website right now on yes. here. So there's links mm-hmm. to foster, there's links to volunteer, and we're completely um, volunteer driven. So we're always needing foster homes and always needing volunteers um, and donations as well. Am I reading this right? Woofstock? Like Woodstock? Woofstock? Probably. <laughs> I like that. I don't know if they're going to do the other. So I'm looking at the Tennessee one, so it's all across mm-hmm. the state on yeah. there. But that's very, that is a lot of fun. That'll put a, a lot of connections in. So if you are moving away and or if you've got an animal that you can no longer take care of, don't do the wrong thing in this situation. Contact ARF or, you know, and the, or the Putnam County Animal Shelter. And like I said, that's great because, you know, sometimes they're at max capacity. It's great to have such a support group with that. That's absolutely wonderful. So, so what's it like being a foster parent to an animal? Well, it's actually very rewarding. It's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Um, because you pull these animals in some instances from poor situations. Um, and to be able to rehabilitate them and sometimes show them love for the first time mm-hmm. is astounding. And then the most rewarding part is with ARF, the fosters are very integral in our whole system. Because with the rescue, we have to have fosters right. in order to rescue. So anytime we get applications in for adoptions for our foster, the foster families are allowed to overview the applications have a say in where the pet may go and um, because the fosters know the pet better than anybody else right so it's really rewarding to be able to um, speak to that new adopter speak to the home that that your pet is going to be able mm-hmm. to go into and and meet them and pass them off and and do all that so it's a very very rewarding experience that is i never thought about that but knowing how an animal is what it likes what it doesn't like is so much easier for the transition into a new forever yes, home and that's, that's our wonderful. focus that we can crate train them get them mm-hmm. house trained and do the best that we can with them while we have them so when you say fixing it's not only just fixing but it's fixing it's, it's yeah, are you talking about spay and neutering or are you talk about rehabilitation of the dog fixing like and we're trying to make this the best dog for a forever well, home. Well, f- spay and neutering I think is what the acronym stands for cuz we that's the first thing we do is right. you know intake them do all their vaccinations and things that they need oh, that's great. we schedule them an appointment to mm-hmm. be fixed. So that is huge. The overpopulation is the problem. Right. Um so that's the first thing we do. Mm-hmm. But yes, then we take them in and we focus on the the other things, the psychological things or the um the different things that they may need help with in rebu- in rehabilitation. So I saw on the other day a video that broke my heart. It was a, a dog that had been abused. It was in an animal shelter and it was a large pen it wouldn't eat and a guy, a veteran came in and sat down and just started eating and letting the dog eventually mm-hmm. so the dog could trust humans again because when a dog goes through something so emotional like that or a cat you do cats as well? Cats yeah, and dogs? Yeah, of course. So you've got foster homes for cats. Yes. Is there really such thing as a, as a, as a cat, you know, because doesn't the cat just take over the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> so how many have you fostered in the time since working for ARF? Oh, I've only been with ARF for a few months, actually. Uh-huh. Um, but I might have had six or seven. Wow. Yeah, and I focus on dogs. So little dogs is mainly primarily what I've uh-huh. fostered, and they go so quickly. Right. Um, because littler dogs are sometimes easier to handle than a, than a bigger dog. Right. So they get adopted really quick so keep in mind this is temporary Mm -hmm. this is not one of those long-term commitments a lot of times we can have a dog um, intaked fixed vaccinated and in their new home in a couple weeks well let's get the information out there so people know a lot of people are probably saying that would be perfect for me because maybe some people i've got a friend who's who's 
dog passed away about mm-hmm. three months ago. And he actually has been looking for other people to bring their... He actually offered, hey, bring my dog, temporary dog sitting, whatever you want. What a mm-hmm. perfect thing for him. Right, exactly. Because he's got the area. If you've got the area in your backyard, yes. say yes. you've had a dog or an animal pass away, you're looking for something, you want to keep helping out and getting more space for the animal shelter and yes. helping rehabilitate an animal. And I'm sure if you talk to the other people, you can get visitation rights. So, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's how wonderful is that? Uh, give the information, social media, phone number. How can people get a hold of you to or get a hold of ARF to become okay, a so foster Okay, so primarily parent? we mm-hmm. want to go to www.aarf-tn.com. Right. And you can send us a... An email to our uh, main email, which is info, I-N-F-O, at A-A-R-F-T-N.com with any questions or concerns you may have. But the first step, if you want to volunteer, if you want to foster, if you want to donate, again, donations are mm-hmm. always helpful. And I can um, see online, as a matter of fact, you can donate, adoption yes, online, online. Mm-hmm. sponsor a rescue transport, buy an ARV t-shirt. Right. Great ways to donate. Yeah, and we do, um, that's how a lot of the way that we actually save a number of our lives is to transport. Mm-hmm. So we send out in our transport van 30 to 40 dogs and cats every week. Oh, wow. So sometimes it's every other, mm-hmm. but every week we try to send dogs up north where they don't have the same overpopulation problems as we do down here. So that's another way that we save. And I think in 2016, we saved over 4,000 lives. Well, congratulations. Yes, thank that's you. amazing. <laughs> what an amazing number. Well, if you'd like to be a part of ARF, like you said, go to ARF T or uh, yeah, dash TN.com. Just type in ARF Tennessee. It'll pop up for you in Google and you can look at all the different things you can do. Find out more about the organization because it is a wonderful website I'm looking at right now. And Brittany, thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for the opportunity.